Okay, so slide 27 uh, is, again, just a summary of the graphing that we went over in detail yesterday. So velocity was accelerated. Uh, was um, shown with a position versus time graph, right? That's what that slope meant. When we're looking at a velocity versus time graph, the slope is going to show us acceleration. And again, it just matches the variables of the equation. Velocity divided by time, well, that's acceleration equation. Um, the position divided by time, well, that's the velocity and speed equation. So basically, whatever your labels are, that whatever equation that matches, that's what the slope of the line is going to be showing you. Okay, um, and so we know that slope is rise over run, or our change in vertical coordinates over our change in horizontal. And since acceleration is velocity divided by time, or the extended version, the slope of this line is going to be acceleration. Oops, sorry. And so the main things that you're paying attention to is the line straight or is it curved? And is the line pointing up or is it pointing down? Straight versus curved shows us constant or changing. Up or down shows us positive or negative slope, meaning positive or negative acceleration. Remember with acceleration, anything that is negative is considered slowing down or technically a deceleration. All right? And so um, looking at these different lines are going to show us the difference, right? Speeding up is going to be a positive um, slope and slowing down will be negative. And then ask, is the line straight or is it curved? And straight means constant acceleration. Notice it's not constant um, speed or velocity now. It's constant acceleration. And then curved is just going to be changing. So obviously all of these are showing constant acceleration. So nice and steady. And notice that the y-axis, even though they have it kind of labeled up here, our y-axis is velocity and our x is still time. But the difference is that it's now velocity and not position. And x is still time. Okay, so we have lines A, B, C, and D. And so, which line shows zero acceleration? So it's like another way of saying cruise control. Echo, what do you think? C. <clears throat> Very nice, flat line, okay? So the flat line here doesn't necessarily mean no motion like it did on our other graph, but it means no acceleration. And we said yesterday, yeah, you can have motion even though there's no acceleration called cruise control. Very nice. You picked the hard one. All right, and so that is letter C. Which one is going to have the large positive acceleration? So be specific. Kendall? Mm -hmm. Okay, why did you pick B over D? Steepest. So those same things apply, right? The steeper, the, the more you have. And in this case, the more acceleration. Which one is going to be a negative acceleration? What's going to show that? Mm -hmm. Good, because it's a negative downward slope. And then which is going to be a small acceleration? What do you think, Kenna? Mm -hmm. Right, and really that's kind of as in-depth as we need to go on those. All right, so if you feel pretty comfortable with that, you should be in pretty good shape. Remember, I said the hardest thing is keeping, like paying attention, which graph am I looking at? Is it a velocity versus time or is it a position versus time? And so that's where you kind of can get into some trouble, okay? Is if you're not paying attention to which graph you're dealing with. 